Chatting to Alan Greer about the Halo Stables runners on Friday and the yard gets underway in race two with Ty Beaton Temptress. And Alan, I'm sure you're hoping for some improvement from her. Morning Nadine. Yes, I'd love to see her bring her work to races. Uh, she's been very disappointing at the races and uh, hopefully she, she just needs to bring half her work really to races and we'll see a much better race from her. Let's hope that's the case. In race three, the two runners and uh, Dinah Arobi is going to be having his first start for the yard of Western Cape maiden form. He'll be joined by Western Jack and uh, maybe a bit more to do for the win, but always has a place chance. Yeah, Dinah Arobi you know, having his first run in the Eastern Cape and he's only had one run, so I think he might still need the experience and hopefully he'll be running on nicely. Western Jack, you know, he's a horse that's flatters to deceive he's always on the fringes maybe he can win a race maybe he can't um, and uh, you know he just needs to pick up the pace a little bit and uh, get his head in the right space to get home in race four we'll see definitely maybe this is a super consistent mare not disgraced at all in her run at last time out in decent company and then the 1400 is it going to be sharp for her Oh, no, it's, you know, um, maybe on the poly track the 1400 would be, but it's uh, the grass track, it's a nice long 800 metre running and she can wind up at the top of the straight. I know it looks like it's going to be a quick race and, uh, you know, she'll be doing her best work late. In race five, Esther will step out and she was so narrowly touched off last time out. I'm sure she's going to be a factor again on Friday. Yeah, you know, Esther's uh, really consistent and uh, on face value, really, she's uh, dropping class, she's running in a merit rated 78 as opposed to the pinnacle plate and uh, there were some strong hard knockers in that pinnacle plate and uh, she did everything but win. I think she was a winner before the line and after the line so uh, it was just an unlucky day for her that day and if she brings that sort of run she's the horse that they've got to come and find. Moving to race six, Cool Winter. Now he was never in his last, I think it's a run best disregarded and I'm sure we'll see better from him. Yeah, I think so. And, uh, you know, he's drawn nasty this time as well. Um, he's a horse that uh, has flashes of brilliance and uh, other days he's just off them. But he's he's better than his form suggests, although his form's not that bad. He's never far off them. He just needs to decide to be in a galloping mood. Two runners in race seven, Rosa Rossa. Now she can improve off her last, which was her post-maiden run, so her first run out the maiden. Sometimes they can be tricky runs. She'll be joined by St. Clue, who showed an incredible turn of foot, making up many lengths to win last time out. Yes, no, it's, this is a classified stake, so the fillies do mm -hmm. get an allowance. Uh, Rosa Rossa, she, uh, she ran last time. It was really sticky, yielding going, and... Uh, the jockey report that uh, she got stuck in the mud. <laughs> so uh, hopefully we can write that run off because I think she's a nice filly, a progressive filly. Um, St. Claude, well, she's done nothing um, wrong since coming here. Uh, a little bit sluggish out the gates at times, but uh, has a turn of foot and, uh, she, you know, she should be uh, competitive. And she's, like I said, they're getting the three year or the filly's allowance yes. in the classified. And another two runners to finish up in race eight, Central City and Matsuyamo. Central City uh, can do better than his last effort and Matsuyamo possibly would be better on Polly? Yeah, um, Central City, you know, he could uh, definitely be, do, or be better than his last run. And also, you know, never far off them, always on the fringes and uh, he's a horse that can gallop and uh, I think he could be in the firing line, Matsuyamo was very disappointing last time. He's really in and out and uh, he just took no interest last time. So hopefully he'll bring his own uh, reality to the races and uh, put his best foot forward. It's a nice looking horse, good composure. And uh, he can, uh, if on his day, run a good race. Let's hope for the improvement from those two runners.